We're the Sunshine Stitchers, and this is EJ, and I am Shelia, and EJ's working on a mitt, mm -hmm. which she decided to put in her mouth just as we were about to start. So rather than just sit here and wait for her to suck on her mitt, we're going to get going. Mm -hmm. so you're going to nod appropriately <laughs> at key moments in time. All right. So we are a channel about County Cross Stitch. We come to you pretty much on a weekly basis. Yes. And uh, we want to say we appreciate those of you who have subscribed, those of you who watch every week. Yes, thank those, you so much. All of you who send us wonderful comments and tell us how much you enjoy our videos. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, so we are in South Florida, mm. uh, which explains why there are open doors back there. <laughs> it's beautiful today. It's a gorgeous day. It's like 0% yes. humidity, which we rarely mm -hmm. see. I'm like, it's a wonderful spring day. Yes. I'm like, but we're in winter. <laughs> yes. And it's, I think, below 80. It's, I don't mm -hmm. think it's 80. Mm. So it's, it's mm. just, we are the warmest spot in the country right now. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I don't know where Hawaii is, but uh, at least in the continental USA, mm -hmm. we're the warmest spot, which feels good. Um, so we, every week, we read your comments, and if you have any questions, we try to answer your questions. Sometimes I answer questions right in the comments. Mm -hmm. um, I do too. And, and there Sometimes. are times when, there's one question we had this week from a new stitcher, mm -hmm. relatively new stitcher, who was taken by a couple of the alphabets pieces that we've been talking about recently. Mm -hmm. She asked for some mm -hmm. ideas as to where she could find alphabets. Mm -hmm. I, at the time, uh, commented in back reply to her that um, Leisure Arts has made a couple of booklets of yes. alphabets. Yes. Uh, the um, Atelier Sold Ide. Correct. 52 yes. rows of alphabets. They have, yeah. They but have I, multiple, like every yeah, year or something yeah, for a that, good while. That, that's a whole treasure trove. Yes. Um, but I forgot to mention Rosewood Manor's 101 alphabets Correct. book. Correct which has alphabets and motifs. Mm -hmm. uh, and you can go out to the Rosewood Manor website, uh, look for that. And when you see it, it it's, 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 um, you see it as a full chart. And there are people who have actually stitched that yeah. full chart. Yep. Uh, it is amazing. It is amazing. Uh, so I just wanted to come say that because I forgot to put that in the comments. Sounds good. Um, so a couple, last week I spoke about when people ask to join our Facebook group and don't answer the security questions, Yeah, how we each handle it differently. Some other folks who have Facebook groups also commented. And they handle it like they, me. They handle it like <laughs> EJ. And that is, if you don't answer the security questions, or if you don't answer all of the security questions, decline. I decline with feedback. <laughs> And guess what? Like, Shelia you put in a list of new members. We yes. have a ton of new yes, members. Yes, thank and you. And I heard you saw a boom. Yeah. We <laughs> started off with a boom. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. I know. You was like, that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we, yeah. So if you're on Facebook, consider joining our Facebook yeah group it's it's fun it's a fun group lots mm -hmm. of great stitching mm -hmm. um and and so i thought i would mention because uh four gen four grams uh mentioned this in her comment that sometimes if she's on her phone she misses the third security question Correct. because she doesn't scroll down 
so, and I get that because sometimes yeah. I get answers to the first two and mm -hmm. not the third. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm sure that is the reason. So I, again, the, for those of us who do a lot of social uh, work on the phone, um, if you're asking to join a Facebook group and you're answering security questions, take, double check yourself and scroll down mm -hmm. uh, to make sure you answer all of them. Um, so we were talking also about your advent calendar, yes. the, the, who is now almost as old as your nieces. No. <laughs> <laughs> So a couple of people suggested that you just do them as ornaments. Yes. Yeah. Until they're all done. Yeah. 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 And then a couple of people, because we talked about the fact that your sister has a design for the annual Christmas tree. Yes. Of getting a, 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 a smaller yes. tree that you can hang ornaments on, which would be very They're nice. cute for the girls. And then yeah. You can, yeah, for the girls and for you. Mm -hmm. You know, all of the made ornaments. Yes. Craft made I ornaments. Correct. That that would be nice. That would be cute. Because would... they do a lot of lot. The kids, we we make sure they're crafty kids. Mm -hmm. They have their little scrapbook, mm -hmm. and you know they have a tub mm -hmm. of their their. They have cross stitch in there. Mm -hmm. They have they're learning how to crochet. Mm -hmm. They have a scrapbook. Mm -hmm. They have those little digital cameras to take mm -hmm. pictures. Mm -hmm. So they're pretty crafty. These kids. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. They're not on iPads or no, they all the, you know they want to be, monitor. but we're no, yeah. we're not going know. down that road. Not today. <laughs> Get your bucket out <laughs> and work on your projects. <laughs> so last Saturday, the Saturday we're drinking water. Yes. Uh, last Saturday I was sipping on an eggnog milkshake that I make, mm -hmm. uh, and I add bourbon to mine. Mm -hmm. um, but Jeanette three seven one seven suggesting adding Kahlua. Kahlua. Yeah. And I thought, ooh, I think that would be good. That. Yes. Yes. Hmm. And also want to comment, I don't think we mentioned it last, no, it did, they couldn't have mentioned it last week because, yeah, Comments we hadn't gone yet. Mm -hmm. we, we were at the Cross Stitch Cupboard last Saturday. Um, the, yeah. The Cross Stitch Cupboard hosted floss tubers at C. C? Mm -hmm. the floss, the floss tubers at the cross stitch cupboard. Um, she was primarily hosting uh, um, Jan Hicks, Jean Farish, and Michelle Bindi Stitchy. And yes. we'll have pictures that we'll put at the end of that day. It was such a wonderful day. It was such a good day. So many people mm -hmm. who were cruising with them this past week mm -hmm. came into the cupboard and it was the first time they'd gotten together yeah. and met up. And It was really nice. They were able to do some needle workshop shopping mm -hmm. uh it was just a wonderful Conversing. wonderful day it was really yeah nice. so I, I got some pictures uh, but also we got to meet several people who watch our video so we want to say thank you thank, thank you thank you hi gloria yes <laughs> hi to gloria and um so we don't have a current drinking game no we that don't. i can remember and somebody suggests that we use temperature butterfly because it needs to be done it needs to be done so, so do you want to do temperature butterflies our new drinking game? That sounds good. So our drinking game is that any time we we mention it, temperature butterfly, grab your beverage and take a sip. Mm hmm. Now, depending upon what time of day you may be <laughs> drinking anything. Correct. There have been times during videos when we have polished off an entire something something, <laughs> yeah. and then had to sit here and look at an empty glass. Yeah. That was not good. Yeah, that was Mother Moon, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Okay, so mm. I have to make sure I bring out Temperature Butterfly. Yes, Temperature Butterfly. It's easy today. Yeah, water. Lots of water. Okay. All right. Did you have any finishes this week? Nope. Did Me? you? Nope. You have any starts? Nope. Me neither. So that's, uh, boom, boom. I got a lot of whips, though. We're nine minutes in, <laughs> and we're halfway through the agenda. <laughs> A lot of whips. I have a, a good number. Okay, good. Let's see your whips. Okay. Let me tell you what I stitched it for. Because that'll be nice. So EJ participates in a lot of the challenges. challenges. Not a lot. I don't think it's a lot. A couple. 
A few. A few. A few. <laughs> a few. More so than two. Few like a couple of two. better yeah. than lot. Correct. Okay, and a few challenges. And yes. For those of you who aren't aware, these are. Um, uh, I'm trying not to use the word challenges, but they are um, like games. They're like a game. Games, or way. like you can fit your a way to get more stitching in. Yeah. Or try new um, projects mm -hmm. or projects that you have that's mm -hmm. um, been languishing. Mm -hmm. Pull that out. Mm -hmm. And they are um, scripted using prompts. So you uh, will get a prompt that says, uh, stitch on something yellow. Correct. You will then either look for a piece that you're using the color yellow, yellow. in. Maybe it has yellow as a title. Maybe the designer's name has yellow no. mm -hmm. in the name. Correct. Um, or you can tell, make a good story about, about yeah, yellow. And how this piece is yeah. inspired by yellow. Yeah, exactly. Like you were watching, uh, you were growing a yellow, you know, a yellow buttercup. I don't know. Yeah. Is that a flower? Yeah. Uh-huh. While you were thinking about Or it has stitching. a motif, a yellow <laughs> flower on it or yeah. something. Yeah. And, and so the idea is that there are goals, stitching goals associated with it. Sometimes they're set by the administrator mm -hmm. of the challenge, or you set your own goals. Correct. Uh, so that's that's what, when I'm I say challenges, that's, that's what we're talking about. So I've been working on my magazine monthly challenge, mm -hmm. which... In January, they do bringo. It's like a bingo board with prompts, and then you put your stitching in the cap in the square. And when they call that square, you're you need to either stitch 100 stitches or one hour of stitching, and then you can mark it off. And it's every day until the 25th day. After the 25th day, you can catch up if you have um, fallen behind. Or you can, um, and then when you're done, you can post your your board and your um, stitching in the Facebook group if you want to. And this is this is Magazine Monthly Challenge. It is a Facebook group. Um, they hosted, do act hosted, hosted by, by Carolyn Zook and Robin Hall. Mm -hmm. um, make sure you answer those three questions. Yeah. <laughs> and then every, this is just, this is um, a bringo or a bingo type game, um, which they do twice a year, January and in September. But every month after that, it's like an acrostic that you mm -hmm. can do. And they do have little challenges that mm -hmm. they have. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, I worked on Hello Summer. This is in a magazine just cross stitch it is on page 12 <laughs> it's hello summer um and i it was pulled well the prompt was from a magazine so that was easy okay, enough you see the magazine thank you i have it um two more times in the two more times in the bingo board I'm stitching this on marshland, and I'm um, I stitched on it. I believe 118 stitches. Oh, I worked on the pink. Can you even see that? There you go. I worked on the pink, so I worked on the E, the O, and the H. Okay, that's 118 stitches. Let me see if I'm right. Well, hello there. I put it 117, sorry, 117. That was well hello there. No, it's just, I'm sorry, did I say hello there? Hello summer. Oh, hello summer. Yeah, you did say there, just now. Oh, I'm sorry, oh. that's another project. Yeah, I was, that's why. I was like, sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's another project. It's Marshland by, the fabric is Marshland by Under the Sea Fabrics. And do you, you know see what the that? count is? This is a 18 count. Mm -hmm. This is an 18 count. You see that? That's pretty. It is pretty. All right. 
and I have it two more times, so you will see it twice more before the end of the game. Then I worked on, <clears throat> I worked on Britter Cup Designs, um, Smallest Whip. That was one, and Would Take on Vacation. Those are the two prompts for it. Smallest Whip and Would Take on Vacation. Because um, it is on a 28 count, really nice um you can even easily see it it's on you can stitch black thank you it's two colors so i worked on i believe these two and this and i finally cut them down i finally cut them out which one is this this Summer is a motif winter motif this is, oh, I should show you the picture, huh? Which one is that? This is seasonal motif one, and this is autumn, the autumn motif. This is this one up here. So, and I also worked on one and other, but I don't remember which one, so I know this one. Okay. Okay. So there, there's two of them. Britter Cup Designs. I like it. Mm -hmm. I like it a lot. And um, people <laughs> convinced me to cut it out of the whole thing. So it's now manageable. Manageable. Separate. Far more comfortable to work with, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah, I don't have to um, manhandle it too much. Alright, and these are the so the primary colors, black and then another color. Black and, um, that's a nice red, rose-like. Black and blue, depending on the fact, depending on the um, motif. motif, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's the second. I did it for two days though. And yesterday I worked on this for this is, okay, this is Data Portraits in Paris by Shaded Stitchery. And the prompt was, oh, sorry, what is that, tape? Yeah, that was a piece of tape. That's no good, here it is, much better. I'm here. So I'm almost to the end of the the width of the porch of the project. Oh, good. Yeah, I mean just the width. That's okay. okay. I mean, yeah. This is I always <laughs> use those as milestones if I get like corner to corner. It's mm -hmm. like woo. ninety-two by ninety-two. I'm stitching this on an eighteen count fabric that I'm loving the colors, and the colors are popping. And the prompt, which I forgot to say, is. Um, Con country's flag color oh. so so i have blue red and white okay so and each is so it's basically charts from w.e.b dubois he made um charts of how blacks were living in the 1900s so basically it had all about education, it had farming, it had home um, ownership of homes, so on and so forth. And he made several charts to go along with his studies. Mm -hmm. So this is a compilation mm -hmm. of all the charts mm -hmm. here. And Shaded Stitchery does an amazing job explaining it mm -hmm. and what each chart is. If you just check her Instagram out, um, and the papers are there as well. Mm -hmm. So really, really good. So I stitched on this. I did 118 stitches. I know this because I worked on it yesterday. 118 stitches. And the white is popping. I love, I'm loving this color. Yeah, I, that was gifted to us mm -hmm. by Deb. Yes. Yeah, beautiful. 
And I think I'm gonna use it to stitch and be kind, no, um, forget me not. Oh, nice. This is a good color. Mm -hmm. 18 count. I'll try it one strand, but I'm stitching this with two strands. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's like the boldness of mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. So that is all for me. Oh, okay. yeah. I was settling in. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I, I when EJ walked in the door, I said, oh yeah, I never put any of my pieces on boards like I usually do, so. Welcome to the club. I know, I know. <laughs> I am still working on, but I'm getting there. I have finished day 21 of the Evertote 2023 Holiday Countdown box. This is a collaboration between Modern Folk Embroidery, Evertote, and Roxy Floss Co. Mm -hmm. So the fabric and the floss is Roxy Floss Co. The chart is a, a Modern Folk Embroidery chart. Oh, I was gonna take clips out, and I did not. It's okay. Um, and so this is my progress. I know many of you have seen the finished product because so many people did finish it in December. We had a piece of the chart on a card. For, there was 25 pieces of the chart. And so every day between December 1st and December 25th, you stitched on the, the symbol and we got a piece of floss for each day. So we received 25 skeins of Roxy Floss Co. Uh, this is a uh, fabric dyed by Roxy Blasco and I'm, I'm thoroughly enjoying. In fact, I said to EJ, I'm so close to finishing that I'm looking at adjusting my plan so that I can just go for a finish because my, my plan is to finish it this month, but now I'm close enough. I can taste the finish. Mm -hmm. So, so it's basically it. fill in what you have left. So fill in. All of it is fill in. So um, seems, let me see if I can figure it, remember what I did. Um, I can't remember. It was a lot of leaves. <laughs> did a lot of leaves. A lot of le oh, yeah. There's a lot of leaves this time. Nice. Yeah. I love the colors. Yeah. I, I do too. So I have four more days and four, four more colors and each day is about 230, 35 stitches. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, I'm looking to see what I can do. And the needle minder uh, came with it. So nice. yes, very proud of that. I don't have a finished picture of the chart because it was a mystery. Mm -hmm. There may be a picture of it in the last envelope, day mm -hmm. 25, I don't know, because gotcha. I'm literally opening them as I get to them. Mm -hmm. um, so I got behind in December, and then I traveled the end of December, so that... You know they have another um, stitch along? Yes. The, the Valentine one? Valentine one, she's calling it cat. Valentine? Valentine? It's, oh. it's got a cute little turn, twist to it. Twist to it, gotcha. yes. Um, beautiful, and I believe those boxes are still for sale oh yeah it's not a mystery no it's not you can tell you can see the finished product yeah i picked up keslin's border series one this is a piece that i purchased a while ago and it's been languishing there are actually three of of these um box squares and i'm going to stitch all three of them so series one series two and series three uh, this is Kesslin's. This is the um, Linda um, Kessie Studio, mm -hmm. known as Kesslin. This is on 40 count Zweigart flax. And I'm using a mix of silks. Uh, silks for you, Planet Earth, mm. and a couple. Uh, there's a George. G G Gloriana? Gloriana, thank you. Want to change the name. So. I have finished the border. I've come across the top and the bottom of the border and not finished the border, but I mean, I've come across the top and the side of the border. I think I wasn't that far along before. 
No, you weren't. Yeah, so I've come across the top and the bottom. I don't remember the light one. I remember mm -hmm. the dark. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the light. Oh, those were pretty hearts. Yes, I'm going to finish filling in uh, the border. And I will leave the, uh, the rest of the bottom and the other border until I start finish filling in the inside just to make sure. Yep. Although once I've committed to the finishing that outside border, um, there's no going back. This is going to have to work. <laughs> <laughs> so that's Kesslin's Border Series. Oh, the one. hearts. Got mm -hmm. it. Oh wow, you got some stitching to do. Yeah, this is, it's a it's a busy border. Mm -hmm. It's not for the faint of heart. Because mm -mm. you sure. have to she has to fill in the hearts. Every single one of those hearts, she has to fill it in. Yeah. And then there's a border underneath that. Well, it's called border series. Duh. Yeah. Yeah. So they're layered mm -hmm. borders, and uh, so yeah, these are silks for you, Gloriana. Planet Earth. Yeah. So those are the colors that I have nice. for it. Yeah. That looks darker. Does that look like a darker red? What? It's not green. Why is mine? Mine is green. What's green? The inside. The heart is green. Mm, yeah, it is. But theirs looks pink and red. Are we supposed to do this outside? That, that was supposed to be it? Mm. Well, mine's gonna be green. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh my goodness. Yeah, uh, it's green. Because I've deemed it to be green. There that's it. And that's how you fudge, folks. Yep. Let <laughs> me look at the picture. <laughs> that doesn't look like a picture. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Yep. <laughs> uh, Turkish Delight by Rosewood Manor. Which is on 32 count ancient by picture this plus it's gorgeous. i purchased the thread pack at galleria in needlework galleria in 2019 and i got quite a bit done on this this time i believe the last time you saw it i brought this diagonal blue zigzag line through the piece but this time I did some stitching up, down around the bottom of it. Um, mm -hmm. I finished a page. So there was a lot of fill in to finish page one. And I went over into page two, which is over, and then page four, which is below. So what you see is page one and a, one. Uh -huh, I'll and it. One. And then some chunks of. Two, I've got the letters um, D oh, and hold on. <laughs> Sorry. Where are my clips? I took the bag of clips, I thought. And you bought them here? Let me go get them right quick. No, no. Nope. Got, okay. I got it. I did the letters uh, D and E, and I brought over um, this, um, this here, the vine for that. I brought over the green part. And then I came down and just a, a lot of fill in and, and stuff. You did letter D, E, e. the squigglies across, mm -hmm. and, and the, underneath the diagonal. Yeah. No, nice. it's how many days? One. Wow. Mm -hmm. A Tuesday? Mm -mm. No? Might have been Sunday. Oh, no, nice. Yeah. Oh, yes, it was. Are you I still put, watching football? Yes. Okay. Oh, because the, the thing is, yeah, um, I put the I put my, this whip go on Sundays this month, so gotcha. it was last Sunday, yeah. So it had got quite a bit of attention because of the yeah. you got your it's no, no, that's countdown that doesn't okay, a bad project back. So this one, um, is it gonna come out today? It's gonna come out today so because I'm, I'm so interested in putting in more time on the countdown mm -hmm. that I am going to switch days for this to give me some more time on that. So, very happy. Okay. On Martin Luther King's birthday, I pulled out Shaded Stitchery, My Necessity, which was also a collaboration with Everto. Mm -hmm. So the fabric is... Everto sure. and Shaded Stitchery. Y yeah. Mm -hmm. 
uh, no, the fabric was out of my stash, but the floss is, is ever is Roxy Floss Co. Mm -hmm. And I and she got a bag. Yeah, a, a, yes, a wonderful project Pretty bag. Bad. To go with a project bag and a uh, notion Notions bag. Arch. Oh, that's cute. Very pretty. Um, let's see. Oh, so it's hard to tell. You can't tell it in the picture and you can't tell it on the piece. But oh. there are clouds. Yes. And I worked on clouds this time. Right here. Yeah. And right here. Yeah. Boy, and that was me and the frog. Yeah, we had with the with the top, with the cloud. Yes, me and the frog. I don't know why, but the frog was not my friend. Why? I don't know. I mean, it was simple. There's simple outline stitching, but yeah, it took me <laughs> a chunk of time that day to get those clouds in there. So pretty. It's very pretty, but I when I finished those those three clouds yeah I was like yes <laughs> the day is good because it took a lot longer than it should have absolutely okay what's next next is mojo stitches bushland Quaker I love this piece it is on 37 count corn tassel 36 count. I'm using one strand of floss over two strands and a combination of cottage garden threads and DMC as called for. This is the lower. <laughs> it looks so pretty. It is. Pretty. She has a whole series, no? I have a couple of others. Yes. Yeah. Um, right. What did I do? I started working on another motif. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, okay. I finished uh, filling in this sideway vase and flowers over here. Yeah, over here. And I started a new motif down below. This, I filled in the, so you filled I this filled flower? in the flowers. Yeah, I filled in the flowers mm -hmm. over here and started this motif. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's what I worked on. That was quite a bit actually. Cuz there was, you know, was three flowers. Yes. And then I come like three sides down and again me and the frog really yeah on the, the motif yeah for some reason on my oh counting, i see it my counting yeah and it has to match up yes yeah so yeah, i put it no in and had that. to take it off yeah take it out mm -hmm. yeah yeah but it, it got it was kind of late in the day that was a tuesday so it was kind of late in the day and i didn't want to try putting it back but i took it all out so i know what I have to do when you come back yes to it yes so that was Mojo Stitches Bushland Quaker oh I didn't take it out I put it back in oh yes it did oh okay this oh, was yeah. my new so I'm, I worked on this one by mistake did I you? looked at the planner uh -huh. and I saw pear and rosemary mm -hmm. and then so I picked it up and worked on it mm -hmm. and then I thought Doop put in three days because this was a new start mm -hmm. and I do yes. three days on a new start mm -hmm. and uh, what is unusual for me I worked on three consecutive days correct yes you did well for whatever reason <laughs> you the fourth day I, I guess I needed another day <laughs> so I picked this up this week uh, uh, this is Womare. Pois et Womare. Yeah, with uh, Summer House Stitch Works, Works, which is a collaboration with Hands On Design, the series, mm -hmm. uh, which was originally uh, issued <clears throat> mm. by Inspired Needle. Um, and 
This is the. It's fabric. on the. Uh, yeah, it's the uh, fabrics by Stephanie and over dyed threads. So, oh, my game might have stuck to something. Okay, here we go. And I. So, when you oh. last saw it, I had finished this top uh, green section here. The little top green section. Where? At the top. This top here. Okay. I finished that the last time you saw it. And now I have come down. You did a whole thing? And did the um, stand of flowers or fruit. I think the it's, fruit fruit. Stand. it's a fruit bowl. Yes. Yeah, I did the fruit bowl. You did the fruit in there too. And the fruit. Yeah. You did so the white I'm, stitches too? Uh, you did that whole yes. section? Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. In one day? Yeah. 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 I mean, gone. Mm -hmm. So all of this section here was done one day. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. I had an unexpected visit to the auto dealer. I had a oh. software update that was not processing. Uh-huh. And uh, since I'm getting ready to get on the road, I said, let me get this straightened out. So yeah. I went to the auto dealership and um, I thought it was going to be there for a lot longer, but I guess they had had somebody else come in with the same challenge. Oh, and um, so they knew exactly what to do. Yeah, they knew exactly what to do. Yeah, they didn't have to figure it out. So. But because he told me it was going to take three hours. So that's okay. I brought something to do. Yeah, I'll I, be here. You know, I'm okay. I got my stitching and I will sit here. But as it turns out, I wasn't there that long. So I wound up working on it for a little bit. Here. One of my, oh, one of my other favorite pieces. I told you, I did a lot of stitching. This I week. know. Good job. Yeah. Well, the countdown, I sometimes will work on a piece during the day and mm -hmm. then in the evening I'll pick up countdown. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. You said that you were gonna do that. Yeah. Ink circles, three little kittens. This is on 28 count sand by Picture This Plus. I'm using uh, Classic Color Works, which I believe it's a call for. I love, that's so cute. That is so cute. I, Oh, it's hard to describe what I've worked on this time. I worked on this. Yes, I worked on uh, the mo, mo. Oops, motif. Want me to hold it for you? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's supposed to be this way. Yes. yes. Okay. The uh, the motif. Yeah, this motif here came down here. I also uh, which one? This one. I did work these little blue things on the inside mm -hmm. of this green motif. Mm -hmm. I uh, came back up around the tree and underneath the duck and put in some some pieces over here. Mm. It was a lot. I'm. I put this in. Yeah, that blue in. Uh huh. Light blue. And then this part. Yeah, that part. And go. Yeah. Three little kittens. So. There. So I'm working kind of down and a little bit up on the side. Yeah, a little bit up here and down here. I'm trying, I'm, I'm, I'm doing pretty well uh, in terms of my progress and what I have left to do. I think so. Mm -hmm. You need this, just this line right here. Well, inside of here. Mm -hmm. Lost. Lost and then little kittens. kittens. And, and, and then finish this in here. Yeah, the biggest is this um, flower here. That's the, I mm -hmm. think the- Right, that goes yeah. right in here. Mm -hmm. And then the right. fill in on that motif there. That's what I got. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. 
Yeah, so that's coming along nicely. This is a nice fabric. Yes. Picture um, this plus cashel, 28 cap. And the last whip for the week. It's a lot of stitch. <laughs> we did we had an extra day on Saturday. Yes. Which one did you work on Saturday? This when one. I came home. Did I work on this or did I pick up countdown? I don't remember. I don't remember either. I think I picked up countdown when I got home. Oh, the piece that I took with me, I didn't even bother to show because I put five stitches in mm. at the cupboard. I had put in five stitches, so I didn't even bother to. I had to leave people. early. It was my niece's birthday party. Yeah. I had to leave it a little bit early. So, B. Hollander, 32 count, Abyssidarian by R&R &R Reproductions. So, I'm using two threads, two, two threads over, over over two, yeah, two over two, mm -hmm. thank you. And I'm using the call for DNC. Um, B Hollander is uh, works by ABC. Mm -hmm. It is a rep reproduction of a sampler done by a German Jewish girl. So I brought over, oh, well, I might as well show it like this. Yeah. I brought over the white border underneath the top alphabet there. Uh -huh. And started in on the uh, smaller case letters mm -hmm. that you see. Got it. So I, I mm -hmm. got that I worked on yesterday. So I got quite a bit done yesterday. I'm not a fan of repetitive stitching. So just getting this white line in was, to me, a major accomplishment. At one point, I had said to myself, well, just do a little bit now. Go do something and do... But when I looked at the small letters on the next row, I saw where the same color was used. It's alternating a blue and an off-white, mm -hmm. which is the same color that's used in that single stitch border. Mm -hmm. So I said, okay, might as well go ahead and finish it because yeah. you're going to have to stay with the same color thread. So, And I got all the way up to the letter L. Good job. Yes. So that was last night. Yay. I've been watching um, Star Trek Picard, there's three seasons, on <laughs> Paramount Plus. Is it New Generation or just Picard? No, no, it's Picard. Got it. I'm enjoying it a lot. So it's uh, kept me, it, it kept me going. So I finished season two and it, the timing was perfect. So I wrapped it up. Did you ever watch... Uh... I forgot. I'm watching iZombie on Netflix. Oh. <laughs> I it's good. It. <laughs> it's good. It's good. It's lighthearted. It's not really zombie, zombie, zombie like that. It's lighthearted. It's okay. <laughs> I won't be watching. Oh, it's good. <laughs> it's, it's the stitching that you can put your head down, stitch, yes. look up, and then completely understand what just happened. Oh. So I mentioned, so Turkish Delight and French Kitchen are part of my Whipgo calls uh -huh. for the month. Whipgo is another one of these challenges. Correct. Which again is based on a bingo board. And every month, <clears throat> Jessie Marie of Jessie Marie Does Stuff, she has mm -hmm. a Facebook group. Mm -hmm. And if you are interested, she has uh, she's one of the originals of Floss Tube. Um, she has a Floss Tube video talking about Whipgo. Um, but so every month she calls out two numbers on the Whipgo board. board. And the idea is you make your goals, you pick your pieces. Uh, the original intention was to pick on, pick up your works in progress and try to find a way to get more progress on them. But every people do their own thing. Mm -hmm. uh, um, some people put start something. And I, I had start this French kitchen piece. 
pear and rosemary, a poire et rosemary. And um, so, yeah, it's another one of those. I like it. I did it last year for the first time and enjoyed it tremendously. I was able to make a lot of progress and finished one series. Yeah. So I decided to do it again. And my whip go is a mixture of specific pieces and people's choice mm -hmm. and also categories like uh, year of whips. Yes which is another challenge group Yes. where this year it's, um, it's run by, um, Melanie Watkins from soulful stitching mm -hmm. that you can get on Facebook where you have a total of, well, a minimum of eight projects to, to show that you want to finish. And then you have a minimum of four to complete. 24 and 2024. So I have my pieces, which hopefully I get to finish all of them. That's my goal. And this year you were more conservative. Correct. In... I wasn't, I wasn't going crazy with the number of, well, not just the, but the size of the ones. Yeah. Like for example, last year I did I did like a project that has multiple sections to finish it. I'm like, no, it didn't happen. It didn't work. So this year I'm just using only one portion of it. Yeah. Okay. So announcements. Announcements. Uh, a couple of weeks back, uh, Susan Greening Davis, still stitching with Susan, mm -hmm. uh, sent me uh, notice of a trip that she's planning for this May. Uh, it's still stitching with Susan Holland, 2024. It is 12 days, 11 nights. Uh, it, it starts in uh, Bergen. Bergen? Bergen. 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 And ends, oh, it starts and ends in Bergen. But during the 12 days, you visit Leiden, L-E-I-D-E-N, and a, a there will be a trip to a textile research center, which will be a lot about uh, fabrics and looks like knitting and things, yarns and things. Uh, then uh, there'll be a visit to an open air museum. It looks like um, wind, windmills. Mm -hmm. Uh, an, an older town in Kuzen, E N K H U I Z E N, in Kuzen, in Kuzen, Bruges, um, and chocolate. Bruges is definitely known for chocolate, so if you're a chocolate lover, uh, there are, uh, I, I don't speak Dutch, so. There'll be a visit to a Dutch cheese. cheese. Ooh. Uh, company Ooh. and uh, a visit with a private sampler collector uh, is actually going to be in Germany. So you actually hop over to Germany a little bit oh, and fun. then back into Holland. Yeah. Wow. So it's a um, wonderful, it includes accommodations once you get to Holland. There are a couple of extra, there's an extra night in the beginning, an extra night at the end. Uh, it's a limited, limited um, space. She's got a couple of seats left in case you're interested. If you are interested, please contact a Susan Greening Davis. The information is in our description box nice. below. That sounds like fun. It does sound like uh Fun. All of the travel, uh, once you get there, is included. Um, yeah, so it, it sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. A lot. Travel she, is included? Yeah. But not that plane ride, too. She it? sent, like, a little picture. She's done the trip before, so she's included little pictures, or she got some pictures of some of the places uh, that will be visited. Um, so... If you've been wanting to take a trip to Holland or a, a European trip mm -hmm. focused on European uh, needlework, 
Uh, this will be a great opportunity. There you go, the sampler collector visit and more there. So yeah, Susan Greening Davis, uh, 11, uh, 12 days, 11 nights, Holland, uh, May 20th through May 31st. So please get in touch with Susan Greening Davis. Awesome. Sounds like a fantastic trip. Yep. I drooled over it a little bit. <laughs> um, how about your investments in kindness? Okay. You want to do kindness first? Whichever works for you. Okay. You can do both. I mean, Let's do investments so first. Whichever. I, I got my, what is this? Color and cotton piece of fabric. It came for a, the machine, like, oh, good. This it's came easy to tour. get into it. Yeah. <laughs> We'd have to sit here and watch you struggle. <laughs> but this is perfect. Smart with the bags. Yes. To protect the fabric. To protect the fabric. Very good. Color and cotton. This is called Orchid Soft. It's very pretty. Yes, it is. Ooh, that's a nice purple. That's nice. I have to find something to go with it. See, I would have thought it was pink. Like really? a raspberry. Mm -hmm. But not a deep raspberry, but a, definitely a light. You wouldn't think it's a purple? No, I don't see that as purple. I see it as pink. Especially since the name is Orchid. Orchids are purple? I think of orchids as, well, they can be. They can be. It's just the way we see color. Yeah. It's it's looking pretty true in the camera. Yes, At least it is. for what we can see. Yeah. Yeah. Looking good. Yeah. I like it. 32 yeah. count is a quarter yard mm -hmm. of fabric. That quarter or quarter yard. Whatever. It's a quarter. It's a quarter. <laughs> or it's a fat quarter specifically because okay. of the way it's cut. Yeah, yeah, you're right. All right. Also, Stitchy Kindness. We're, I'm wearing it. We're wearing it. Remember two or three episodes ago when Shelia was talking about her finish? Yeah. When in doubt, add more adhesive. There you go. <laughs> it's perfect. True words were never spoken. <laughs> so, so then, Athena from Stitching Goddess Design, she gifted us these shirts. Yes, and she, she heard, <laughs> heard me say that and said, oh my God, that has got to go on a t-shirt. Yes. So she actually is having a sale right now. The I sale ends the 26th, so you have a week. Mm -hmm. to go over and check out her, um, Facebook. her designs. Mm -hmm. And uh, you've seen her products a lot. Several floss tubers. Absolutely. Have, wear her t-shirts or purchase her t-shirts. The sloth one was from her. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. yes, which you'll see uh, mm -hmm. our next video. Um, and um, she sometimes does uh, t-shirts for retreats. Mm -hmm. I have a, a t-shirt from her from uh, Spring Fling mm -hmm. 2023, uh, which I love uh, Listen, a lot. Listen, the feel of yes. this fabric. Very soft. Hers is softer than mine. It's amazing. Yes, really nice. And the fit is good. This is a yes. 2X. And this is this is a three X with a V neck. I like I like real nice. it's, and it's not too deep of a V. Mm -mm. No, <laughs> it's nice. My my, <laughs> I was gonna say crazy, but I'm not. Never mind. Yeah, much. yeah. But this is a nice V decolletage. Yeah. 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 Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> and it feels so good. But yeah. I love the I, you see the glue. Yes, I know. And, 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 and listen, exactly. This is Shelia's. This is Shelia's shirt. Yes, it is. <laughs> Glue it down, baby. That's right. <laughs> and you can reach Stitching Goddess Designs on YouTube she has at a, mm -hmm. Stitching Goddess Designs. Mm -hmm. Uh, on Instagram, her Instagram uh, features a lot of her stitching mm -hmm. uh, at Athena X Stitches. Mm -hmm. And she's also on Facebook. Facebook. That's where you can order the, she has a Google form. Yeah. And she has a lot of, um, her products are on the Facebook, Facebook group. Page. Mm -hmm. That's Facebook group, mm -hmm. Stitching Goddess Designs. Mm -hmm. Yes. And all of this information, including uh, 
the link for the order form, but you have to know what to order. Mm -hmm. You have to go to the Facebook group. Mm -hmm. uh, is in our description box below. Make sure you answer those security questions. Yes. <laughs> All three of them. So if you're on your phone, scroll, scroll down. down. <laughs> and do you have anything else? Um, yes. My stitching jewels. Yes. Another stitchy kindness. So she contacted us mm -hmm. and like, listen. And we're like, yes. Her, her email was so cute. <laughs> I'm not sure if you know who I am. I'm like, oh, I know. I yes. <laughs> <laughs> so she gifted us a couple of designs. Yes. And we had, listen, a great time looking through all her designs. Yes. Yeah, so I, actually we had Ooh. to do it twice. Mm -hmm. Because EJ went through, she picked out what she would like to stitch. Yes. Wrote it on a sticky for me at my request. Yes. She said, it, here, write it on this sticky. Yes. And yeah, then the sticky went missing, <laughs> which I found yesterday. Yes. Uh, I had put it in a brochure of my <laughs> streaming service channel. Why? Yeah. <laughs> No, it had no business there. None, none, none. <laughs> none. Anywho, I decided, you want to go first or me? No, you go first. This is um, Sun and the Moon, y'all. This is gorgeous. Gorgeous. And that would look great sitting up with your Mother, Mother moon. moon. This is 214 by 163, but hear me out. It's not full coverage. Correct. It's just black. Yeah. So because of the sun rays and the, the body of the moon, it is that wide mm -hmm. and that high, mm -hmm. but you're not stitching mm -hmm. all of this. Mm -hmm. So you have, find the middle start mm -hmm. and then you just work around mm -hmm. it and it's black mm -hmm. and white. Mm -hmm. Well, black monochrome. on white. Yes. Yeah. Monochrome. Gorgeous. Beautiful. It's 4,399 stitches. I think that's the area of the piece itself. Not the stitches? Because I have oh, pieces, yeah. I have pieces that are more than 4,000 stitches. Oh, okay. So this is a, this is a good size. Yeah. So Gorgeous. I'm excited. And then this one, I'm like, oh, this is amazing. It's called Hourglass. Do you guys see that? Like, it looks like sand mm -hmm. through, come mm -hmm. on now. Y'all see this? This is hourglass. It is 9,781 stitches. Mm -hmm. I think that's doable. Mm -hmm. And once again, this is not full coverage. Mm -hmm. You will just, you could either start at the top middle mm -hmm. or um, the middle mm -hmm. and then stitch. Mm -hmm. Black. Yeah. Most of your stitching is on the side, actually. The side of the jar. Yes. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. And then um, you can use a like a tannish color. Yeah. So this so it look like sand. Yeah. Yo, man, mm -hmm. this is <laughs> hourglass. Mm -hmm. And those are the two. Okay. I selected. I'm so excited. A mini coffee break in Africa. Look at her. Is she not? totally precious and this is a mini so it's 75 by 105 that's nice and she has 13 dmc colors i'm starting her next month yeah i would too very excited really looking forward mm -hmm. i mean look at oh my god i love it it's so pretty i love it and this is a wonderful chart i actually printed out a page of the chart um, and this is a chart that I would have no problem stitching without mm -hmm. loading it into my iPad first. You want to show it? Just, on Just the, a little I'll, smidgen, mm -hmm. smidge. Like you see how big, and this is, we're, we didn't make, enlarge it or anything. Yeah. Yeah. I just printed it out. Mm -hmm. So I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. So I'm really, in fact, that was the final clincher for my deciding to start it next month mm -hmm. when I saw the size. Oh, okay. We can really get into this. So, so um, I, it's stitching gorgeous. Jules design us. Jules, she's a veterinarian. 
Yes, she is. And um, because she's been around for a long time. She, I remember my first time watching her, she was doing a lot of monochrome. Mm -hmm. She still does a lot of monochrome, but she was doing these pieces and I can't remember Roe. Yeah, uh, Ronnie Rowe. Ronnie Rowe Correct. designs. Amazing. Amazing. Pieces. Um, so right now she's offering uh, a first timer, 20% uh, off one time on the purchase of a cross stitch pattern. And she's also offering 20% off the entire order of three or more cross stitch nice. designs. Nice. Uh, um, so the 20% off uh, one time is for a cross stitch pattern only. Mm -hmm. So she can be found at Stitching Jewels, J U L E S, design.com. And again, her uh, link to her website is in our description box below. So we had, you know. Wow. Yeah, we don't do a lot of promoting or things like that. But it just so happens that over time, over the last month or so, we, we and, and, these and we're behind, yeah, these and we're behind, behind them behind. 100%. Yeah. We love their products. Yes. Absolutely. So. Oh, stickers. Yes. Yay. I forgot. I forgot. I happened to look up. I was like, what is this little pile sitting here? It's stickers. I forgot. Yeah. Athena included stickers. Thank you. Oh, hedgehog. Hedgehog. Yes. And um, I took the hedgehog, please. Oh, the little dragon! Yes. Oh, so, which one do you want? I'll take which one do you want? You take I think one. I want the dragon. Okay, hedgehog. Okay. okay. <laughs> See how cute! <laughs> I'm gonna name her Indarna. Oh. <laughs> okay, uh, any more? That's it for me. Investments? Okay. Yes. I have been wanting to start, I think I showed this before, yes. this piece, Ori TM, that EJ picked out for me at Needlework Galleria. It's perfect. <laughs> it is perfect. Not only did she pick it out, but she, the floss tags, the needle minder, I'm like, oh my God. Uh, perfect. Yeah, and there's even a piece to put on the back of the framed uh, sticker, identifying what it is on the back of the frame. Mm -hmm. So it's it's lovely. So I I really like that. And uh, and I'm gonna start it. I've been wanting to start it. And it's, it's recommended uh, 28 count white. And I just didn't have a piece, as much stash as I have, <laughs> I did not have a piece large enough in white. And, and I thought too, because it's a monochrome piece, that I, I did want it on white. Right, yeah. um, so I picked that up at the, when I was at the cross stitch cupboard last week. And Listen. I've been wanting to edge it with yes. my sewing machine. And I've been holding off until after we showed it on the video today. So she came to the cross stitch cupboard. She said, and I quote, oh, I need a white piece of fabric, a 28 count piece of fabric. We're like, good. So she went to the section where the fabric is. We, I'm sorry, she said, oh, look. What she, what I saw in her hand was not white. <laughs> it was beige. Like all her other pieces of fabric. I said, that's not white. She's like, <laughs> you. you. <laughs> what? Do I sound harsh? No, <laughs> said, no. That's not white. You but wanted white. It wasn't just you. It was you and Gloria. <laughs> practically in unison. <laughs> I thought you wanted white. I was like, uh, oh yeah. yeah. But she bought that and the other piece. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So I. Are you now... ready to stitch it? Yes. I'm gonna nice. start it really, really soon. That's why I was so anxious. The beauty of that, you don't have to use black. No. In fact, I have um, a silks for you. Remember that nice blue that you got? Yes. That I liked, and somebody sent me some. Yes. I'm going to use it nice. for this. I love it. Yes. Uh, the cross stitch cupboard had received a delivery of fox and rabbit fabric, and this was the last of uh, a 36 count prehistoric. Uh, prehistoric by fox and rabbit. This was the last piece they had, and I said, "Gimme, gimme, 
<laughs> Please. It's so pretty. It nice gray. Nice. It's a nice gray. Yes, it is. So I got that. That was nice. Uh, why is this here? I don't know. Oh, so, <laughs> so Jean Farish and Jan Hicks were there. And they had, Karen Owen had some of their charts for sale. Mm -hmm. I had stitched another uh, Jean Farish um, stocking. Oh, you well, have? no, I did her, her um, alphabets for Christmas one year as ornaments. Gotcha. And I saw this mm. Christmas stocking ornament. I thought it was so pretty. And... Uh, so I picked that up, Jean Farish. Mm -hmm. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, that's pretty. Yes. Oh, that's I, nice. I really like that. Yeah. And Jan Hicks. So we had a nice conversation because, you know, I have a couple. I, I like Jan Hicks. <laughs> Creates. I love her patterns. I have several. I have not started them all, but. You know, <laughs> having and starting. Yeah, totally different. different. Yeah. But we were having a conversation and somebody picked this piece up. Louise. Chapui. Yeah, she said that's her husband's, it says husband's favorite. favorite. And I said, oh, okay, there you go. <laughs> that's all she wrote. So I, I picked that up to, to do. And it's a big one. Uh, and I've been shying away from large projects. And I, I, I like the borders in it. The very pretty borders. Mm -hmm. And um, I like the colors in it. And there is a Vicki Clayton uh thread set and i'm going to order the vicky clayton thread set because it's a lot of a lot of colors yeah, and, and it, i might as well just get in this correct this is going to be on a 40 count and she used old stationery by who by seraphim oh, okay and i know that's hard to get because somebody else was looking for it in our group she was able to find it mm -hmm. um but I'm not sure if I'm going to use old stationery, 40 count. Um, yeah, we'll Let me see. see it. That's lovely. And my last Ooh, sticky kindness, but last because I got it last. <laughs> so my friend Trisha, uh, whose floss tube is I Just Want to Stitch, mm -hmm. um, is, is in Canada. And I mm -hmm. don't know if you followed her Flossmas videos this past Christmas, mm -hmm. but pardon me, she did an excellent job on her Flossmas videos. She also was working on the Evertoad Countdown piece. She finished hers mm -hmm. and, and, and on time. And she really <laughs> kept up with it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But out of the blue, she sent me And a Forest Grew by Rosewood Manor. Now, this is a large piece. Now, we know that if you've watched this for a while, you know that I have learned a piece this size is just not gonna work for me. So uh, she said, she flew the little note that said, stitch along 2025, question <laughs> mark. I said, well, I'll stitch along, <laughs> but I know I will, that's just not gonna happen, the whole thing. So EJ and I were looking at this this morning and so we've determined that this side of it has a lot mm -hmm. of really wonderful motifs. Mm -hmm. There's a chunk of trees in there. Oh, let's let me show it like this without. Yeah, it's a chunk yeah. of trees in there and a lot of forest animals. But then we were looking and we looked at the back of the chart. And Rosewood Manor, when she publishes these booklets, she always includes bonus charts. Mm -hmm. And as we were looking through, there are at least three bonus mini charts that include motifs from this chart. Mm -hmm. And as I was looking at them, I said, ooh, I like that one. <laughs> I like that one. And I, I like love that, that one. And EJ really likes mm -hmm. the, the last the back one. one. So I think what I'm going to do instead is um, a couple of these mini charts. Mm -hmm. um, I, I love that um, approach. Uh, one is called a fancy tree sampler and the other one is the forest animals sampler. Nice. And I, I really, 
It also includes uh, little mo the little pieces for a needle book, uh, a pin pillow, and she shows where you can actually. Uh, that's the needle book and mm -hmm. the and the pin pillow. Very nice. Nice. Very nice. And a little scissor fob with one of the. I mean, the, you know, a book like this is like a treasure trove it of is. motifs yes. that can be used in so many different ways. So yes. thank you, Tricia. So yes, there will be a stitch line 2025. It will not be this, but it will <laughs> definitely be um, in there in the book. Uh, um, yeah, what the the two minis mm -hmm. I will definitely do. So those were my um, investments and. A stitchy kindness. kindness. So thank you so much. Yes. Athena, Jules, thank you so much. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So, and I know that um, Michelle Bindi Stitchy, uh, Jan Hicks, and Jean Farish oh are having gosh. a wonderful time. Do you on see the pictures? Quiz. Oh, they said pictures? On Instagram. Oh, well, you know me and yeah, Instagram. Yeah, 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 you don't do it. But, but go on Instagram and go check out and these three uh, floss tours. Yeah. Amazing. Maruni, Maruni's there. Maruni Craft. Oh, she is? Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. 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 Oh. FOMO. Yeah. So what are your plans? My plans? Stitching. <laughs> working working um i need to do um 300 stitches of um, sample au fleur i'm gonna pull out power of love remember power mm -hmm. of love mm -hmm. that i maybe did 200 stitches on <laughs> that's gonna come out um do a couple one more day of data portraits in paris and i want to finish my <laughs> that's a lot of plans right I want to finish my One Dozen Quakers um, January section. Oh, okay, good. It's, it's almost done. Okay, yeah. all right. Uh, I'm doing a little of a swap because I'm going to work on Turkish Delight today because I won't have that much time today. Mm -hmm. um, and then tomorrow I'm going to work on, my, uh, on the countdown, the Evertoe countdown because I'll have pretty much the entire day and it'll be lots of football in the afternoon mm -hmm. and evening. I'm gonna pick up Kesslin Border Series 1. Uh, oh, I've got a, I have a, a chart that I started last year called the Dragonfly Quaker. Um, I, don't, I think I started it, I don't believe that I um, picked it back up again. Okay. So I'm picking that up again. And I have scheduled to work on Common Thread. Now that one is where I'm doing this uh, queen stitch, mm -hmm. this queen stitch motif, mm -hmm. but I need to work it on a doodle cloth because mm -hmm. I tried it on the piece and that was not it working didn't work at out. all. So I'm gonna work it on doodle cloth. So that's my primary goal yeah. for that. And then the latter part of the week, I'm going to be at Susan Greening Davis's Southern Stitching event nice. in St. Augustine. Yes, I'm very excited about that. Okay, so I've got some good fun plans, some new things, something, couple of something you haven't seen. Uh, the because I'm going to be working on that stitch on a doodle cloth, you can only do that for so much time. Mm -hmm. uh, the extra time I'm going to fill in with the countdown again, trying to finish that this month. Mm -hmm. So every extra minute I get, I'm working on countdown. Sounds good. But still keeping up my other stuff too, because. Alrighty. I gotta update my whip go. No, my whip go. Is it whip go? Yes. My whip go board. Why? I gotta make sure I've done those four days for each one. Oh, okay. Yeah, double check yourself because yeah. you don't want to screw it up. Be at the last minute. Yeah. Do you have a big, um, a big uh, gift for yourself that you're working towards this year? Not yet. Okay. I gotta think about it because okay. um, this year or last year, my gift was travel to Portland. Yes. Portland, Oregon to Acorns and Threads. Yes. So you see need my to friend. start making your reservations and pick your dates. Yes. And... I got to talk to my friend. Yes. <laughs> we have plans. <laughs> yes. Get that all coordinated. Yes. Yeah. Especially before 
if you're gonna go, which you do have to do over the summer, uh, yeah, you want to get that plane ticket sooner so rather than before the prices go up, yes. as they do for every summer. Absolutely, so, yeah. That time because I am going to also to stitch New Jersey. Oh, okay. Yes. So, so I have to do. You need to get all those either plane before tickets. or after. Yeah, you need to get all those plane tickets now. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. I think we've, we've said it all. I'm looking at my list. I'm looking at the table. I think we're good. I think we're good. All righty. And don't forget. No, no matter, matter where you are, are, the sun is always shining when you're <laughs> stitching. Bye. <laughs> Did that surprise you? <laughs> no matter. <laughs>